you're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. In which household item would you usually look to see your reflection? Teapot. Bath mat. Vase. Mirror. Are you absolutely sure? Of course it is. You've got 100 points. <laughs> Take a look at this for 200 pounds. Somebody wealthy is often described as filthy, prosperous, loaded, rich, affluent. OK, you're going for C. Are you happy? It's good for £200. <laughs> now, here's question number three for £300. Which specific road vehicle is driven by an undertaker? Milk float. Omnibus. Hearse. Handsome cab. You're absolutely right for £300. <laughs> right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now, this one is worth £500. Take your time, have a look at it. Which prefix denotes things to do with sound or hearing? Cranio. Audio. Video. Cardio. That's the right answer for £500. <laughs> OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Which adjective is used to describe natives of the Isle of Man? Manish. Manly. Manx. Manch. You seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure. You've just won a thousand pounds. So, congratulations. You're now guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. OK, going on. Question six is for £2,000. Which school subject might be known as divinity? Physics. Religious studies. Geography. Mathematics. So you're saying B. You've just won £2,000. <laughs> OK, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000. You're nine questions away from £1 million. This question is worth £4,000. Which of these is a type of French cheese? Port Salut, Port Said, Port Stanley, Port Sunlight. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? Congratulations, you've just won £4,000. <laughs> The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. Which make of car is the Vectra model? Vauxhall. Peugeot. Fiat. 
BMW. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? You had £4,000. You could have walked away. You didn't. You've now got £8,000. Okay, keep going if you want to. Here's question nine. You're doing really well. If you play and get it wrong, you'll drop £7,000. If you play and get it right, you'll double your money to £16,000. Who came in from the cold in the title of a John le Carré book? The Spy. The Sleeper. The Iceman. The Mole. Are you happy with your answer? You've just won £16,000! <laughs> Now you've got £16,000. You can obviously take that money and walk away. You might as well have a look at the next question. Take your time. It's question number 10. If you do decide to play it and give me the right answer, it's worth £32,000. Romney Marsh is in which county? Essex. Kent. Norfolk. Suffolk. So you're saying B. Oh, well done. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> Now, whatever happens, I'll be writing you out a cheque for at least £32,000. But we don't want to give you that. We want to write you out a cheque for much, much more. The next question is worth £64,000. It's a chance to double your money. You're guaranteed £32,000 and you might as well play. Here it comes. What is the correct form of address for a Roman Catholic cardinal? Your reverence. Your Holiness, Your Worship, Your Eminence. You're going for D. You were guaranteed a cheque for £32,000. I can now give you a cheque for £64,000. <laughs> Now you're getting into really serious money territory. The next question is worth £125,000 and you are just four away from a million. Take your time. You don't have to play it, but here it comes. In which part of the United Kingdom is the town of Ullapool? England. Wales. Scotland. Northern Ireland. OK, you want to go 50-50, use your lifeline computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. A and D go, B and C are left. Are you sure the right answer is not B?
You had a cheque for £64,000. Not anymore. You've now got a cheque for £125,000. <laughs> You have £125,000. Now, you now have question 13 of 15 coming up. Take your time. It's worth £250,000 if you can give me the right answer. Good luck. Here it comes. Which author created the character Becky Sharp? Anthony Trollope. Charles Dickens. George Eliot. William Thackeray. OK, right, you've chosen to ask the audience. Audience, get ready, please. Let's try and help. Fingers on keypad. Answer A, B, C or D, please, now. Well, now, D gets the audience's vote as the most likely, but it's your choice. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? You want to use your phone a friend lifeline, OK. Let's get them on the line now, but you don't have to take the answer they give. Hello? Hello, Bill. This is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, hi, Chris. There's a quarter of a million pounds on the table. No pressure here. And it's your help we need to secure it. I will do my utmost. Right, Bill, here we go with the question and four possible answers. But only one is the one we're looking for. Which author created the character Becky Sharp? Anthony Trollope. Charles Dickens. George Eliot. William Thackeray. Oh, you can relax. Becky Sharp was created by William Thackeray in his, in my opinion, best ever novel, Vanity Fair. OK, Bill, that's great. Thank you very much. Thanks for helping out. Now, Bill has gone with D. It's entirely your decision. You can go with Bill or you can choose a completely different answer. Are you absolutely sure? You had £125,000 in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You did play it. You've no longer got £125,000. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. Right, at this point, you are just two questions away from one million pounds. If you do give me a correct answer to the next question, you win £500,000. But if you give me a wrong answer, you lose £218,000. It's question number 14 of 15. Take as much time as you need. Have a good look at it. Good luck. What kind of person might be called a poltroon? Impulsive. Generous. Talkative. Cowardly.
take as long as you need at this moment. This is for half a million pounds. You've got 250,000 pounds at this moment. You could play for 500,000 pounds, but a wrong answer would cost you 218,000 pounds. That's an awful lot of money to lose. Is that your final answer? Well, you've just risked an awful lot of money on this question. You're very brave. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. You've just lost 218,000 pounds. Oh, you were so unlucky. I really thought you were going to go all the way. Still, £32,000, a huge amount of money. You leave us a winner in every respect. Congratulations. And I do hope to see you again winning a lot more next time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs>